Welcome everyone to the L7C podcast WrestleMania edition. Today we are going to be previewing WrestleMania 38. That's coming to you this Saturday, April 2nd, and this Sunday, April 3rd. It's going to be a two-night event in AT&T Stadium. So to preview the biggest pay-per-view of the year, obviously we have our wrestling expert, Mr. Jacob Mason with us. How are you doing today? Dude, I am so fantastic. It's WrestleMania week. You know, uh, it's a magical time of the year for us here at the L7C, and oh, damn, I just can't wait. We have the Captain Byron Mitchell. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, I'm great. Definitely ready to talk some WrestleMania and all the shenanigans that are going to happen. And we got the producer, Justin Akadel. How are you doing today, sir? I wasn't lying on the um, Naruto pod when I said I was going to be back this week, did I? <laughs> no, that's two. <laughs> two in a row after my man had his hiatus. The fans missed him, and now the guy's back. But let's go right into it, man. We're previewing WrestleMania. It's a two-night event. We'll do Saturday, then Sunday. And before we even start, Justin, I'm going to throw this to you. Since it's a two-night event, do you think they're going to sell AT&T Stadium both nights? You know what? I think so. Just on a simple fact that, like, WrestleMania is, like, the Super Bowl. So it's just, like, a big-ass event that, like, people just want to be at. Not because the card's good or anything. Just because, like, it's an event that people want to be at. So, yeah, I think they'll be able to sell out both nights. Okay. Byron, what do you say? I think they will. Like Justin said, it's a, one of the biggest nights in wrestling. Well, biggest two nights in wrestling ever. So I think they'll definitely sell out. Um, I know they sold a, pretty much sold out last year. And that was like the first WrestleMania back in front of fans. And I know the, like, the fans that couldn't go last year are probably going to go this year. So, yeah, I think it'll sell out both nights. Jacob, what do you think? Yeah, it's going gonna, it, it's gonna to sell. I don't know if they'll sell out both nights. I think you'll definitely see some some gaps in the seating. But like Justin said, it, it's WrestleMania. People are going to go. It's an experience. I wouldn't know. I've never been there, but, you know, I enjoy it from my living room. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get right into it, man. We got seven matches right now for Saturday and seven currently right now for Sunday. Let's start off with a tag team match. We got Ray and Dominic Mysterio versus The Miz and Logan Paul, the first celebrity match of the night. Byron, who do you think is coming out on top on this match? Oh, this one is a toss up for me. I know they always like to have the celebrity go over um, a la Bad Bunny last year. Um, and unfortunately, Miz was on the losing end of that tag team match. So I think the Miz deserves a win at WrestleMania. I can't remember the last time he won at WrestleMania. So I'm going to go the Miz and Logan Paul over Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Justin, what do you think? Um, I think the Mysterio's got this one. Um, according to Vegas, the odds are even. It's minus one twenty for both, so they don't know who the fuck's going to win. I think it's going to be Mysterio's. You can't have Logan Paul, Jake, whatever which Paul it is. I don't know which the fuck. I don't know. You can't have them come into WrestleMania and winning though. Like, absolutely not. So, okay. Mysterio's. Jacob, uh, I'm going to go with the Miz and Logan Paul on this one. But side note, Justin, way to come in with the, the Vegas information. Hell yeah, man. Oh, no. Martin, uh, Martin, Martin sent me his website. I, this shit ain't on my books. <laughs> uh, Same website that had the Royal Rumble odds from when we did that. Yeah, mm. shout out to um, betonline.ag. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Miz and Paul. I, I think Paul will go over because he is a heel. No one likes him. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, the guy took out Floyd Mayweather in his last match. So, yeah, I, I, I'm back in tall here. Whoa, whoa. He, didn't, he didn't take out. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Paul fights I did watch in its entirety. Like, he didn't win. Like, 
You watched oh, that God, whole no. fight? No, I just bullshit. I didn't man. pay. I, I didn't pay serious. for it, but yeah, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick with the tag teams. This one's actually for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. You got the Usos, Jay and Jimmy versus Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Jacob, who do you got in this one? All right, and this is for the SmackDown titles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh God, yeah, I'm. As much as I like Shinsuke and not and uh, Rick Boogs, like side note, their whole like Toyota thing they've been doing, like I'm not sure if you guys have seen that. That shit's actually been like super entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard to bet against the Usos, so you you got to go with the Usos because Bloodline and they're gonna hold those titles for a while. Justin, shit, they already held them for a while. What longest reigning SmackDown um, champions in history, tag mm-hmm. champions? Which I think they just made that shit up, but whatever. But I'm going. <laughs> there has to be some team hold that shit longer than them. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh my god, Byron, the ones are going to win. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the bloodline as well. If We'll talk about it later, but you know, the bloodline is kind of stand strong at WrestleMania. Okay. Okay. Uh, another tag team, man, three tag teams on Saturday. You got the New Day, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston versus Sheamus, Rich Holland, and Pete Dunne, now named Butch. Smire <laughs> <laughs> who you got in that one. Um, I... This one's a, a, another toss up for me. Like, I know they're trying to push Seamus, Ridge, Holland, and P. Dunn, not Butch. A boy, Big E, because Ridge Holland accidentally almost paralyzed slash killed Big E. So I am going to go the New Day because they got to get a win for their boy, Big E. Justin? Um. New day one in that. Um, Ridge Holland almost killed Biggie. <laughs> he did, Jacob. Oh, yeah, we're going to Seamus and Butch and all them oh. boys. We're going with the Peaky Blinder boys. Okay, okay. Any reason the why? Peaky Blinders. Um, just because I, I feel since they like butchered Pete Dunn's name and the Butch, I feel like you have to do something with him, even though he. <laughs> Who almost killed Biggie? Was it Rich Holland? Mm-hmm. Rich yeah. Holland, yeah, the big yeah, one. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like the Peaky Blinder boys got to actually like go over and like do something. They're going to start this new stable, so I'm going with them. Okay, okay. Uh, I feel like they something. need more. What are you about to say, Justin? They'll definitely benefit more from the win. That's 100 percent sure. The new day don't yeah. need to win anything. That is true. That is true. Uh, next one is Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin with Moss in his back. Is anyone on here not picking Drew? No, no, that's a match. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now we're starting to get into some these big, big ones. We're gonna stay with the men and then we'll go with Seth freaking Rollins versus TBA. I want to, <laughs> I want to throw this out. If okay. it is not Cody Rhodes, who is it? Goldberg. <laughs> nah. Who are some other who, who are some other free agents that might make sense? Not Goldberg. I can't free, think of any. Free agents since I'm looking at Jacob's picture right now, Bray. Nah, no, 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 that's no, not I, happening. It's, yeah. I, I got it. I I got it. I, 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 this just popped in my head because I, I still don't think it's going to be Cody Rhodes. Okay. I'm sticking by like my past predictions. I still don't think he comes back, but I'm going to say Johnny Gargano. Oh, that's, Ooh. yeah. Well, that's a, yep. Had the baby, baby settling in. That's a good one. I mean, that timing's right. Uh, you want to pull him up to main roster, you could do it. Huh. Then they'd have a teardown match, too. They could. That's actually a good one. That's actually. Good. I just gotta say, they, it gotta be some. It gotta be someone hard because the only, the only like main marquee matchup on Saturday night is Charlotte and um Ronda Rousey. So we need something on Saturday other than just that. Uh, Bianca and Becky are on Saturday. 
Right. Fuck. And Stone Cold's <laughs> and Stone Cold's on Saturday. Saturday's well, more packed than Sunday. That's yeah. not a ma- Stone Cold's not a match. Stone Cold's the main event. I yeah. know. That's that's that's, not a match. that's marquee. That's it is marquee. <laughs> that shit should be leading the show though. What? Oh, this, what? Is, this, this is the old man in me. There, there, there should be a title match in the main event at WrestleMania. This, that's just me, old man. Me and Jacob said that on our last wrestling thing, but this is Stone Cold. Yeah. Yeah, this, this isn't Goldberg. This isn't Brock. This isn't <laughs> Cody Rhodes. This is, this is fucking Stone Cold. I mean, it's either him or Rock who's always going to be last. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But going back to Seth, we'll I'll go under the impression that one, it is Cody, which I, I think that's going to be one of the craziest wrestling stories of all time. If it really is him, there's no way Cody comes back and loses. Correct? Oh, Byron has a Byron has some. <laughs> it all depends on how Vince feels about AEW. Is the only reason why I have hesitation. I think if it is Cody. And Cody goes over, I think Vince is okay with AEW. But if Cody comes back and loses to Seth, then that settles it that he does he doesn't fuck with AEW. Justin? I mean, does Seth Rollins really have any business beating Cody Rhodes if he's returning back to the company that he left after building another company? It it wouldn't make any sense for him to lose, so I don't think he will lose if that ends up being the match. It, it just wouldn't make sense. I know Vince logic, but some shit got to make sense sometime. sometime. Jacob? Um, well, is there, like, Vegas odds on, like, who is the possible opponent? Uh, let's, no. let's see. Oh, damn, do they not even have his name? There wouldn't be odds up if you don't know who it is. They're not going. Oh. Sports are not going to let you bet on something that they don't. That they don't even know what's going to happen. Well, they have Seth plus three hundred mystery opponent minus five hundred on bet online. Mm-hmm. Look at that wow. right now. <laughs> I mean, I I feel like Seth's going to put over whoever it is. I I really think so. Oh, here it is now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the money's on um the mystery opponent. <laughs> I. I think, too, they have to, and Seth has experienced this before, Seth has to lose, and this match has to be the first match of the card. Because if Seth wins against, like, Cody Rhodes, the fans are going to reject every other match in the pay-per-view. you gotta start. You got to start this off on a high note. Like, get it over with. No, I don't think so. I think one of those women matches are going to start, honestly. I don't think. Hell, women, no. it's going to be those, Becky, then. T- yeah, one of those women's style matches. They ain't going. It's gonna be no. Charlotte and Ronda. They, they're not. They're gonna, no, Charlotte, hell no. At eight, at seven p.m. Oh no. Eight, right? Gonna, well, it starts hey. at eight, right? Eight, no, yeah. it starts. Oh, it starts Brock seven. and sure. Brock started WrestleMania how many years ago? Uh, Thirty-five, but that's only because they had the main event for the women. True. Right. And they because I remember Paul Heyman coming out saying like, "If we ain't gonna be last, we're gonna be first. And honestly, I just want to get that Ronda match over with because the fans lose either way. Oh, well, I was going to say Brock went first, too, so he could go home. Yeah. I, I don't think Ronda and them are going home after. Yeah, send them home. <laughs> I don't think he necessarily went home. Was he on Raw the next night? Because, you know, Raw's in Dallas the next day. It's in the where C WrestleMania is, so he probably didn't go home if he was on Raw the next day. Uh, Brock wasn't because he disappeared. I remember that because then he that was a year Seth beat him. Brock came back and money in the bank, won money in the bank, cashed in on Seth, took the title back, and then Seth beat him again. I could tell you this whole year that Seth beat him at SummerSlam, and this is why Seth needs to lose first because that year is when the fans turned on him. Because he curb stomped the fiend six billion times. I remember that. that and the fans terrible. turned on him. Yeah. Everyone, everyone curb stomped the fiend like 12 million times. Not at that <laughs> time. That was when he was undefeated. No, he was undefeated. That was the beginning of the end of the fiend. Yes, yeah. correct. <laughs> correct. That match, that hell in the cell match, that big red cage. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, that was their blood money, right? Yes. Yeah. Hey, we no, know that. No, it wasn't, it wasn't blood money. It was no, just it was a regular, regular hell in the cell. 
Was it just? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he lost. Yeah, t- didn't Seth get DQ'd? Yeah, yeah, on some BS. They had a sledgehammer and he attacked. Yeah, oh yeah. That and was, and then everyone hated him forever. Then Bray took the title, and then he did lose at Saudi Arabia to Goldberg. That's yes. right. That's right. How could I forget? Because I repressed those memories. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, I do think Seth would do the job for anyone who it's going to be. But any other it, guesses what, who it could possibly be? If it's not Cody, I have no idea who's bigger that they would get. Honestly. Me either. We'll find out. I just I think they need to knock it out early. All right, let's go to some big let's go. Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch, singles match, raw women's championship. They got both women's championships today. Byron, you're the resident Becky fan. How are you feeling right now? Who's coming out on top? Um, this is probably the match I'm most excited about on night one. Um, because I like both Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. Mm-hmm. With me being a huge Becky stand, I understand when you know she needs to lose, and this is one match that she needs to lose. You have to put Bianca Belair over, so we can continue to build the next generation of women superstars after the four horsewomen, four horsewomen leave because they're going to eventually leave one day. Um, so. One is retribution for Bianca Belair losing 26 seconds at SummerSlam to Becky Lynch. And two, it continues that push to build the next generation of women superstars. So Bianca Belair has to win this match. Justin? I want Brian. Byron. Just because um, that SummerSlam match was awful. She lost in, what, less than 10 seconds? Just 26. 26 seconds. Just absolutely ridiculous. Like. She deserves. She deserves death. She deserved better than that. Then she deserves better than that. Now she won it last year. Last year in Tampa, I think she's going to do it again in Dallas. Jacob. Uh yeah. Uh, I I can't say it any better than what Byron did. I mean, just copy paste whatever Byron said. Just put over my stuff because that's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, currently right now, Bianca's minus 600. Becky is plus 350. The only reason I would have any doubt is because we have said this on this podcast before with Becky, where there's times where she needed to lose to the upcoming talent to put people over, and she did it. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Day one, New Year's pay per view that she should have lost to Liz, but didn't, which I understand they were building up for Bianca versus Becky, but. She could have afforded to lose that match, but or WrestleMania two rest a couple of WrestleManias ago where she should have lost a shade of Baszler, but she rolled up and pinned her, but then just ended up dropping the title anyway to Hoska because she was pregnant. Yes. Instead I of just agree. letting instead of just letting Shayna win, and Shayna really hasn't been the same since. I'm with y'all. Bianca needs to win. And this could be Bianca's legacy that they keep having her in main event matches taking titles from the four horsewomen are defending them because this would be the second one. But Mm -hmm. she said she wanted to take them all out, and that's what she's doing. Justin, you're the resident Charlotte Flair fan. Charlotte versus the Royal Rumble winner, Ronda Rousey. How do you see this one going? I don't think Charlotte's going to leave his champ. I said this in the group message a few weeks ago. Shit. When probably when Ronda came back, I think Ronda Rousey is taking this. There has to be a de facto baby face in the situation that's clearly Ronda Rousey. So I think that is who leaves with the SmackDown women's title on um Saturday night. So do you think Ronda's gonna be staying around then? Or is she gonna be part time champ? Probably a part time champ. Okay. Okay. Byron. I hate this match. <laughs> <laughs> One, because it's hard to pick. And this dude just a fucking hater. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Jacob on this one. The fans lose. Like if Charlotte wins, the fans lose. If Rhonda wins, the fans lose. Like there's no I don't even know who to choose. Like every time I choose against Charlotte, she wins. But if I choose against Rhonda, she'll magically win. You know. Fuck it. I'm going Charlotte. Who cares? That uh, she's gonna win. She's a four horse woman, the one to she's probably gonna 
beat Ric Flair's record. Women, the one woman who's going to beat Ric Flair's record. So it's Charlotte. It's Charlotte. Uh, currently, before Jacob goes, the odds are minus 700 Ronda, plus 400 Charlotte. And you did bring up Ric Flair's record. We were on record last year that she is going to break it this top, next, this year or the beginning of 2023. Yeah. I mean, well, I guess one way to do that would have her lose and win it back at SummerSlam. Because we are on track. She's a 13. She, and she averages three titles every full-time year. Go ahead, Jacob. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> if you look at her full-time year, she averages three title reigns. Yeah, so uh, before before Justin can throw this in there, I am a hater. I hate this entire match. I hate everyone in this match. I don't even like the fucking ref in the match. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Um, that being said, I, I'm going to go Ronda. I think Ronda's going to win it just because I think Ronda versus Charlotte at the following mm-hmm. show, Charlotte wins it back. I think Ronda's going to have another WrestleMania moment. And Charlotte's going to drop the title just to pick it right back up, and she's another step closer to the Ric Flair title. That, that's it. I hate this match. I hate everything about it. So. I will say the one other match they've had one-on-one a Survivor Series, you did see the fans, myself and he hates to admit it, Byron included, were cheering for Charlotte Flair to beat Ronda Rousey. I've said it on this podcast before. That is one of my favorite Charlotte matches because <laughs> she I actually think, completely beat the hell out of Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I do think and that it was is great. my favorite Charlotte match of all time. That match was really good, but I I feel like with Justin, like it makes sense. You can't bring Ronda back to lose unless she's coming to do the job. Unless they're doing this to add to Charlotte's legacy, because this is the same Charlotte who, for no reason took the title off of Asuka and ended her undefeated streak at WrestleMania. No reason. <laughs> when everyone went Asuka, they're like, oh, yeah, we're just going to have Charlotte do it to add to her legacy. Is it going to be one of those things like, I end Asuka's undefeated streak, I beat Ronda Rousey, I beat my other four horsewomen at WrestleMania? Like, but it's hard to pick against this woman. It really is. Mm-hmm. But Justin, I'm... I'm I get I, I get it, but like why would Ronda come back just to do the job to Charlotte? Like money? Money, yeah. Right. <laughs> we, but we all know some some of these other female wrestlers in WWE, I think they're a little jealous of the queen. So a I little. Think, a lot. <laughs> I, I think I think they're a little jealous. So I don't think Ronda's just gonna come and take a paycheck and take a job after just having the baby and being around. And Take taking the disrespect from the from from the fans on the internet. It's so crazy watching the shit that she was saying to them on Twitter and how they're cheering for her now. I just think she's going to win. They're only cheering for her because she's going against Charlotte. No yeah. offense to Charlotte or your love for Charlotte, but that literally <laughs> the only reason they're cheering for Ronda <laughs> is because she's going against Charlotte. It's getting a reaction. Shit, they're not silent. It is getting a reaction. I mean, I can't argue that. I mean, I can't argue that either. I mean, it's smart to have her come back and go against someone that no one wants her to have the title anymore. Again, no offense to Charlotte. She's a great wrestler. This is that. WrestleMania. Baby faces rule. I know this. I know this. <laughs> Unless you're Charlotte. Yeah, unless you're Charlotte or Roman Reigns. Most of the time, the, the baby face goes over at Mania. Most of the time, yes. It's the same Charlotte. I forgot, too. We're talking about her history. She's the same Charlotte who beat Rhea Ripley for the title. For no yep, reason. The NXT, NXT yeah. title. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. No reason. And Rhea was a well, baby face. <laughs> allegedly, is me. Hold on. Even I, even I got to partially have Charlotte's back on that one. I didn't like how that went over. But was Rhea Ripley having visa issues? She was leaving anyways. So someone was taking that title off of her. Yeah, it could have been literally anyone else, but at the same time, you already got the Mania match set up. Well, the most intriguing WrestleMania match, if I remember correctly. Nikki ASA was it? I didn't have visa issues at SummerSlam, and we sold out in her. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can't forget about her. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that'd be match wise. That's going to be a tough one. We'll see where that goes in the card. We also do have the Kevin Owens show. With his special guest Stone Cold Steve Austin, 
Who gets stunnered first? What will happen first? Stone Cold stu- stuns Kevin or KO stuns um, Steve Austin? That's the, um, the bet on Vegas. KO tries first. I know that's not what he's going to try first. Yeah, I don't think Stone Cold is getting stunnered by KO. <laughs> I, think he, I think he no-sells it. I think KO goes for the stunner and Stone Cold just no-sells it and be like, all right, kid, I'm about to whip your ass. <laughs> Crack some beers. Let's go. It's Justin. What do you think? Oh, I think Stone Cold's going to stun him, and then it's just going to be a big party for the, until the, until the um, show goes black. That's why I think personally it's going to happen. I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yep. All right, let's go into Sunday. We got Clean Selena and Carmella versus Sasha Banks and Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Basically, the whole others. <laughs> women roster <laughs> we don't got shit for them to do what's make tag teams a preliminary match and it is yep. for the women's championship um vega and carmella are the current champs justin who do you got in this this is i don't like picking out of four teams this gets tricky yeah um vegas tells me to take naomi and sasha banks i think it's gonna be Liv morgan and i'm Rhea ripley Liv. Mo- the fans want Liv Morgan to be a champ so bad. I think Vince is going to give it to him. Maybe. I I agree with you because I initially wanted to go Sasha and Naomi, but mm-hmm. Sasha Banks actually does the job for everyone at WrestleMania. She's zero and five, zero and six at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's not. She ain't going to take the pin. Oh well, well, no! But Byron, who do you got? I'd be hot if she took the pin. <laughs> <laughs> so originally, when it was announced that it was going to be Selena and Carmella versus Sasha and Naomi, I definitely was going for Sasha and Naomi. But then they added <laughs> Rhea Ripley and Liv. And then they added Na- Natalia and Shayna. Out of the four teams, Rhea and Liv Morgan need to win the most. One, because the fans, like Justin said, the fans are super behind Liv Morgan. And two, Rhea Ripley hasn't really done anything significant in a while. No offense to her. (laughs) Just the way the cards have been dealt. So I am going Rhea and Ripley and Liv Morgan, but I would not be mad if it was Sasha Banks and Naomi. Jacob? Oh, yeah, we have to go Rhea and Liv Morgan. You have to. I mean, that, that, that team's got the... I don't know. I just feel like they have the momentum coming in. Like mm-hmm. everyone likes this team. Everybody wants to see Liv win. Everybody wants to see Rhea win. You know, everyone likes them. But at the same time, you do have the dark horse of Natalia. Oh, I think that'd be she, the worst she, possible she absolutely outcome. absolutely screwed my predictions last year. So. You think so? Uh, I mean, no, nah, I, I can't. They can't win because that's just really, they were really out of, oh, yeah, we're just going to add those two. Yeah. yeah Listen, mean, you had Tamina. And freaking Natalia win last year. <laughs> oh, trust me, we Anything remember. Anything is possible. Because mm-hmm. Liv and but, freaking uh, what you gonna call it? We're supposed Ruby to Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot, and they said, "Nah, we're gonna go Natalia and Tamina." I wouldn't be mad if they did win because um, Shayna Bla- Blazers her partner, and yeah. um, I would like for her to get some momentum and be back in a uh, singles title picture. So winning this certainly wouldn't wouldn't hurt that. I would well, I would like happened. if they won and they became the uh, for storylines and all that stuff if they became the female versions of the one because if Ronda beat Charlotte Shayna's SmackDown champ you basically Uh-oh. have the female yeah. and they're already part of their own four horse women version Natalia is just a stand in until Ronda's other friends decide to come back but yeah I think Natalia sucks <laughs> damn <laughs> she's only really worth a dollar. She been oh, around, Jesus. She been around so long and don't win no big matches. She is just zero a solid hand. A one dollar player. Oh, don't tell her that. No, she knows it. That's why that's why she got so, <laughs> why, why she got so fucking butthurt. Like because Natalia's been around since if I believe 2008. No, debut 2000. And she has two main title championships individually. Which is crazy, because, like, honestly, she has the wrestling talent to fucking be over as hell. Mm-hmm. 
Like yeah. just wrestling wise, one hundred percent. Especially back in the Divas era. Mm-hmm. Just think about it: one Divas Championship, one SmackDown Women's Championship, one Tag Team Women's Championship with Tamina. Those are all the things. There was literally a year where Charlotte did that all by herself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember when the title was SmackDown Women's title either. That was at last WrestleMania <laughs> with Tamina. Yeah, Charlotte has no, won. no, not the tag title, the SmackDown Women's title. I don't uh, remember when she won that shit. That was after, right after the draft, wasn't it? It was, yeah. like, it was in twenty nineteen. Yeah, twenty nineteen. It was after the draft. I, yeah, that's how bad she it couldn't was. have been champ for more than two months. There's no way. Oh, I got mm. you. Why we go into the next match? I will get the Natalia info. Uh, she next. Either- Took it from Naomi or lost it to Naomi? No, I got you. I, I got you. I got you. Let's go to the next match. This is so freaking woozy. Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Anything goes match. Jacob, who do you have in this? Oh, God. Honestly, surprisingly, the build up for this match. Forget the shit they've done like on screen. The shit they've done like on Twitter and everything else has built this match. Like, Sammy's whole thing of like Johnny like putting out his entire phone number and then like mm-hmm. him acknowledging it and you know like I'm sure he just got a second phone for it but like still super entertaining to see on his Instagram and stuff like him answering like phone calls being like just leave me alone damn it like that's super entertaining I want Sammy Zayn to go over I do like Sammy Zayn um but you know like they, they, I don't know I, I feel like the, the buildup has been better than what I, I would expect. Okay. Okay. Before we go to uh, Byron, you are correct. Naomi won the title at WrestleMania 33, and then Natalia won it at SummerSlam. She did hold it for a good amount, 86 days, and then Charlotte beat her for the title on SmackDown. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Almost three months. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> to lose it on SmackDown, though? And I'm it was trying to a remember. random SmackDown, too. <laughs> it, was, it was in November. It definitely was. It was November 17th. Over the Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So I guess our home. Uh, yeah. But still, that's terrible. Uh, it's funnier that it's funnier if it would have been Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Well, somewhere <laughs> well, she has not sniffed the title since because if you look at that SmackDown title, once you once you get past the uh, Carmella Cashin, the only people who have held that title are the four horsewomen, Asuka, and and Bianca. and Bianca, and Bianca's recent. So you take out the Bianca, that's who's all been holding the title since Carmella's Cashin. They say, yeah, we can't, we can't experience, we can't experiment with any other girls. That's just a wrap. <laughs> Justin, who, crazy, Justin man. who do you have, Knoxville or Sane? Man, I'm low key excited for this match because Johnny Knoxville is fucking crazy. <laughs> that Jackass, those niggas on Jackass be fucking wild, and like I can only imagine what's going to go down this match. I think Johnny Knoxville is going to win because Vegas is telling me he's going to win, but. I think it's going to be a good match. It's going, it's going to be a show. You guys praise Bad Bunny for what he did last year. Like you could like tell that he's into it. I don't know if Jai Knockville in the wrestling, but he's definitely in the fucking his body up. So he's in the perfect environment. <laughs> As anything goes match fire. Who do you got? I want Sammy to win because of the whole storyline and how Johnny Knoxville cost him the Intercontinental title. But I think Johnny Knoxville is going to win. One, he's a celebrity. And two, I feel like the other jackasses are going to interfere. So since it's anything goes, I'm going Johnny Knoxville. Steve-o. Yep. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Let's stay with a celebrity. But this celebrity, we know gives a shit about wrestling. Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Byron, who do you have? Another toss-up match for me. I am going to go Austin Theory because he's Vince McMahon's prodigy. Okay. okay, Jacob. Oh, I'm going Pat McAfee. Can't bet against Pat. I mean, he he's lost. I think every match he's ever had. But you know what? <laughs> he is freaking due for a win, and he. I feel like it's against Austin Theory. Well, I mean, it's, it's Pat McAfee. It doesn't matter who wins, wins, loses. It doesn't matter. That match is going to be entertaining. I have no doubt about that. Dustin, I'm going with Austin Theory here. Um. 
Pat McAfee, he gets this business. And he, I think he knows that he has no business beating Austin Theory. And he's Vixen Man's um, project. So I think um, Pat's going to win this one. I mean, Austin. Okay. Uh, next up, which I think is going to be a very sneaky good match. RK, bro, Randy and Riddle versus Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Triple threat for the Raw Tag Team Championship. I think this match is going to surprise some people how good it's going to be. Justin, who do you got in this one? Man, it is going to be a good match. Like, all six of those guys can go. Like, all of them. I think the Street Profits are due. They're just super entertaining. I just love them. I think they're going to win it. But anyone could win that match, honestly. Like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad if... Um, if Alpha Academy wins or RK Bro retains, like it really don't matter. Like it's just gonna be a good match. I just gotta pick someone here. I'm picking Street Profits. Okay, Jacob. I'm on the same boat as Justin, man. I mean, it doesn't matter who wins; it's all gonna be good either way. Um, I'm going RK Bro because I'm I'm still still backing them. They're still entertaining the shit out of me after all this time, and for a tag team that almost essentially kind of got thrown together, mm-hmm. you know, you wouldn't expect those two to get together. I mean. Damn, they're great. But at the same time, Otis is the freaking man still. And Street Profits are, well, the Street Profits, they're over. They're, they're they damn are, good. They are over. Um, I agree. Byron? Um, this one's tough. But like Jess, I'm going to go with the Street Profits because they are due. I don't think they've won tag team championships like the last year or so um they're super over with the fans like pretty much all the teams of this match are over with the fans but i am going to go street profits because they're due and they want the smoke i do have a question when montez Ford goes up for his super high jump is his ass getting caught in an rko oh if he gets caught in rko rk bro is winning <laughs> like the super high jump if Randy catches him I know that spot is coming. <laughs> that spot is definitely going to be in the match. Like Montez Ford is getting RKO'd from high up in the air. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Hopefully it's early in the match so the Street Profits can win. See, I can see that. That happening. spot's happening. <laughs> I could I could definitely see that happening, but I could see like Alpha Academy like swooping in there real quick and just like taking everyone out and getting the pin. And then winning the titles. I can see some shit like that happening too. Who does Vegas have winning this match? I think um, RK, bro. Very slight odds, though. Yeah, it's um, it's RK, bro, minus one fifty. So they think RK, bro, is going to win. Alpha Academy is still big on their dog. You want to talk about toss ups? Next match: Edge versus AJ Styles. Jacob, who do you got? Oh God, this is this is a hard one right here. I mean, ah, shit. I don't know. I can't, I'm going to go AJ. I'm I'm going AJ on this one, but honestly, it's a toss up either way. Who's Vegas got? AJ. AJ. Yeah. I'm going with Vegas. I'm going AJ. Iron. This match is going to be. Hopefully, this match is going to be. Pun intended. Phenomenal. Hopefully they get time. Hopefully they get time. That's true. They I mean, it's not really shit on the Sunday card, so they definitely gonna have some time. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> I see Omas and Bobby Lashley. I see Giant Knoxville and Sami Zayn. There's no way those matches are going to be longer than ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um. So if they give them this time, the the match can be very very well done. Um. I think AJ Styles needs to win more. Because he hasn't done anything since he lost the tag team championship uh, with almost. So I'm going to go AJ Styles on this one because he needs to win more. Justin? Heel Edge is back. Mm -hmm. That is one of my favorite people in wrestling. I don't know why WWE then put him in that evil documentary on Peacock because he definitely deserves a spot because mid-2000s Heel Edge was was amazing. Mm -hmm. He fucking really was. I don't think he's going to win this match, though. I think AJ's going to win it. Edge is going to do the job for him, but it's it's going to be good shit, as Jacob would say, regardless. But AJ's winning it. 
We're talking about spots. We know that phenomenal forum is going to get caught in a spear. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. We, he's going to get caught. But I, I want AJ to win. I really do. Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Bobby just came back. Oh, oh Bobby! <laughs> 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 the all hey, tell Wikipedia they didn't put the Almighty in front of his, even though they have, oh disrespectful. Even though on Wikipedia they have Seth freaking Rollins, but don't have the Almighty Bobby Lashley. But that's something for another day. I'm but, about to add that shit myself on there. <laughs> <laughs> He's going up against Omos, who has not lost in singles competition. We know Bobby just came back from injury, and Justin, who do you got in this? This is a tough one, man. It, it is. Oh, because Bobby Lashley, really, my guy. Oh, when he won the WWE title, I was so happy for my nigga. Oh, my God. I think Omas is winning, though. <laughs> they're, 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 they're trying to do something with Omas, and you can't kill his momentum at WrestleMania having them lose to Bobby Lashley. If he loses this match, it's going to kill everything they've been trying to do, so that's why he's going over. But does Bobby- he, su- he sucks in the ring. He has no business going over, but Omos. <laughs> but does Bobby need to win to reestablish himself as a main event player to go after the whatever they're going to call the championship at the end of this? You know what? I don't think so because the way they're building Omos, he's probably won't get that title shot before him. Ooh. So when Omos loses, when he does get his title shot, we're going to forget about it by the time Bobby Lashley is back up. So it won't matter. Okay. Bobby Lashley going to do a job for him. Byron. Um, I think Omos is going over. They've been building him since him and AJ broke up. Like Justin said, it, you don't want to kill all that momentum at WrestleMania by him losing to Bobby. And Bobby really doesn't need to win. He was literally just champion this year. So I think Omos goes yeah, over. For like three weeks, but whatever. <laughs> he was hurt. <laughs> yeah. Holding hold the top. No. What you come back from? What was wrong with him? Shoulder, I think. Shoulder didn't look too fucked up on Monday when he was banging in the old big asshole mom. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> <laughs> they were just running into each other. Just <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Jacob. I I guess so, Moss. I really don't give two shits about this match. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's just whatever to me. All right. Well. We've come to the last match of the card as of the 29th. Oh, my God. We have Brock, <laughs> that's, we have, that's terrible. <laughs> we have Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman. Uh, Paul Heyman is going to be a manager for the 10th straight rec- WrestleMania, which will break the record. Winner take all match to unify the WWE and Universal title. Justin, I'll start with you. What are you... What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Mm-hmm. What is this? We've been building this up for what? Six WrestleManias? Was this Roman six main event? Uh, 31, 32, 33, 34. Didn't do 35 because that was the girls. And then 36, 7, 8. Yep. Was it six. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be the, com- the, the compilation of Roman Reigns. Vincent Man's vision, him driving this man down our throats for years since the shield broke up. I think we're about to see Roman Reigns holding up both of those belts at the end of the show in Dallas, Texas, in Jerry World, telling AT&T Stadium to acknowledge him. Byron? The Island of Re- Relevancy, WrestleMania, his show. His show. That's what he oh, said. He said. He said it's his show. He said it's his show. Byron, what do you think, man? I'm with Justin. Roman's winning. I don't see Brock winning. It would be nice if Brock won because I'm tired of the Roman experiment. But Roman is winning this and he's going to be champion for like another 700 days. And you experiment. Know. It's an experience at this point, dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. It's a Roman experience. At the end of the day, we're all going to acknowledge him as our tribal chief and the trumpets will sound and life will go on. And Brock will go back to being on his ranch and 
wherever his ranch is, I think Minnesota. Uh, so yeah, Roman Wayne, Reigns is winning this, even though I love Happy Brock. Happy Brock is awesome. Happy Brock should stay and have both belts, but it's a Roman show. Jacob? Because I'm coming uh, with questions well, after Jacob answers his. I mean, we got... I need some. <laughs> I'm coming with questions. <laughs> I mean, we got, you know, Mr. WrestleMania, Roman Reigns at this point. I think mm. we can just take that off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's that? Let's not close. disrespect the great Shawn Michaels. <laughs> right. Stop it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, as much as I absolutely thoroughly hate Roman Reigns with every fiber of my human body, um, and as much as I love cowboy Brock Lesnar coming out and bib overalls every other show, um, you can't bet against Roman because. We got another 365 days until WrestleMania in Hollywood, and then we're going to have The Rock versus Roman for winner take all part two. And uh, then, then we will be done with the experiment, the experience of Mr. WrestleMania Roman Reigns. All right. Actually, it'll continue going on, but right. yeah, so I'm going Roman. I hate, I hate, I hate it. I don't like it. I want Brock to go over, but damn. All right, so I got a couple questions for y'all. So I, first, the Vegas odds. Roman is plus three, no, minus 350. Brock is plus 225. Justin, you're better. So what? how does that mean? How close are they then? Um, Brock's a two-to-one underdog. Oh, that's not terrible. Yeah, Brock's a two-to-one underdog. So it's definitely not 50-50 or the odds will be even. Mm-hmm. But the, val- the values are on Brock for your money. So, if you do remember, this is their third WrestleMania. Uh, obviously, the first one, which today is the anniversary of the heist of the century. Shout out to Seth Rollins. Justin was the first person to believe in him, giving him credit where credit is due. And then WrestleMania 34, where everyone picked Roman, and Brock Lesnar beat the absolute dog shit out of Roman Reigns. Six F5s, called it a day. If, he, if Roman wins... He's obviously he's going to take that title to SummerSlam. If he gets to SummerSlam, Justin, that is two full years as champion. Who? I, I know Jacob's big thing is The Rock next year, but let's just be honest, man. We, I, I, we don't know what The Rock schedule is like. We don't. We, we don't know if that man's coming back or not. That is true. Yes, we do. He's coming back. <laughs> Jacob, you said he's been coming back at each pay-per-view. You said it was going to be this year, and it didn't happen. Well, you know what? My scheduling was a little off. I wasn't able to get a hold of him like I normally can. Shit happens. <laughs> you picked the rock to win. Here. You picked yeah. the rock to win the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize our schedules weren't lined up. But yeah, next year, hear me out. Damn it, I'm going to come on here and tell y'all I was right. Well, if, again, I mean, if you keep going, if you keep saying the rock for five straight years and you get it once, I don't know if you're going to be like, oh, I got it right. You tried five hey. times. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut, man. We're good. Anyway, <laughs> Justin, let's just go in the people who are here now. If Roman gets to SummerSlam, two straight years as champ, eventually, shit's got to end, man. It really does. Who is beating this dude? Because after you beat Brock, where do you go? Man, that is a very tough question. I'm not sure. WWE definitely needs to fucking figure out who it's going to be. Because once it gets to SummerSlam, it's a taking pot. I'm like, we're we're in uncharted waters. Like two straight years as a champion. Like mm-hmm. you gotta figure something out. My personal opinion is that he's probably not even going to get pinned to lose it when that time comes. It's going to be a triple threat match or a fatal four way where he does not take the pin. That's what I truly think is going to happen. But after WrestleMania is what I'm very curious about. To see what WWE does because now we need to start building towards like who's next up because we can't go in the we can't go past next year's WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is still champion. We don't know who the hell can even challenge this man. So yeah, it's definitely it's definitely coming to that point where we need to figure out like some contenders here. Justin, I know when you were researching for this pod, you saw the last time Roman Reigns was pinned, December two thousand nineteen. So two full years. That means if it gets to this December, he's going on three years right now of not getting pinned. No pin, no tap outs, no nothing. Is there anyone on the roster you'd want it to be? Who I want it to be? Mm-hmm. Bobby Lashley. Won't happen, probably. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
Drew, maybe. I think I that's my pick. It's got Drew would be the one for me. Yeah, like Drew, like Drew's like the only one that I can really think of that you can do it. Going down to NXT, pretty much all the NXT guys are gone. Mm-hmm. That I would have thought. It's definitely ain't gonna be fucking Braun Breaker, but I can definitely see them trying to build him up to that point. Mm-hmm. It's just like if I, if I had to pick someone right now on the roster, currently wrestling on a WWE roster, it'll be Drew McIntyre, and that's literally the only one that I can see. Bobby Lashley, if he gets built up properly, but they're not going to do that for him. So yeah, Drew McIntyre. Byron, you talked about you're tired, and there are a lot of fans who are tired. Like Justin said, we are on two years in the modern era of being the champion. Like there's only four other people in history who've held a belt longer than him all in previous eras all time all time all time like this Mm -hmm. is wild like justin where i mean byron where do you want to see this man lose his title at i know wrestlemania we're all gonna go roman because but he's not gonna lose it at like they don't do the old days of like jeff hardy winning his title for the first time at like an armageddon they don't do that anymore you either always a big four it's always the big four you might Mm -hmm. get lucky in a money in the bank you might might but Byron, where are we, where's this guy going to lose, man? Never. <laughs> I mean, I think, never, I think if he did Vegas betting odds, never is a better betting favorite I, than anyone else. I know. Um, outside of WrestleMania, like you guys said, he'll probably lose it at a big four, big four pay-per-view. I think, God willing, he loses it at SummerSlam. To who? I don't know because they don't know how to build up superstars anymore. Because every time they build up a superstar, they end up getting fired. I think the only people, guys left, which this is why this men's roster is boo. I think it's Drew, Bobby, or Seth. Yeah. If Drew doesn't win and Bobby doesn't win, I I guess Seth. Because they built up Finn to have him lose on some bullshit. They were were there. (laughs) We were there. They were trying to build up Cesaro, but they couldn't strike a deal, and he quietly walked out. Um, Big E was going to be my choice, but we saw what they did with him with the last title. So I, it's literally Drew, Bobby, and Seth. Well, this one's to Jacob and then to everyone else, because Jacob's the one person here who doesn't think he's coming here. Is it SummerSlam? Is it Cody? No. <laughs> like You really think Vince McMahon's going to let the guy who went out made a different show to squash one of his shows, turn around, beat his guy at the second biggest show of the year. Nah, that ain't happening. It's no boss chance in hell. That's going to happen. Uh, well, we know what Vince likes. It starts with an M and Byron knows it's called money. I got a question. Mm-hmm. So with Cully Rhodes going back and going into our conversation with, if he comes back, <laughs> if he comes back, he's coming back. Um, <laughs> if it's a big F. Who's going to beat Roman Reigns? I was on AW's website looking at their roster, mm-hmm. trying to figure out someone's name, and like they got everyone's record on there. Mm-hmm. And like if you look closely, like a lot they haven't been using a lot of those guys. I've been mm-hmm. so. Could we see a uh, you know some guys maybe hop hopping back on the WWE ship maybe from AW, and maybe some of those guys might be contenders because Miro. For example, he Rusev he back in, so I know he's not, man. but <laughs> but, he, had, but he, hasn't, he hasn't wrestled all year for AEW. Like his record was zero and zero, mm-hmm. no matches. So you got to think some of those guys are going to be let go the bigger AEW gets and they might be looking for another job. And it might be WWE again. So I, Justin, I agree because if Cody does come, that changes everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. it does. Because no one. No one on this planet thought Cody would, they would let the contract expire and be like, yeah, bro, you can go. Like he could leave on his own thing. No one thought, no one knew that he had creative issues at the back. Mm-hmm. Cody Rhodes never won the big title there. Nope. Nope. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, to Byron's point, you spit it in the face of AEW, like Cody left WWE, helped start you, y'all didn't whatever, let him come back here, and then he wins the title by beating our biggest star while you couldn't even beat someone on AEW for the title. And there's another person, I don't think he's, I can't even say that, because Cody was just as big executive-wise as this dude. Kenny Omega's contract's coming down. Just saying. 
I don't see. I don't the only see. way that happens is if you open up the forbidden door and WWE works with AEW. Yeah, I don't yeah. see Kenny leaving AEW Kenny for Vince, WWE. Vince offers him five a year. He's leaving. Period. Well, <laughs> yeah, five mil a year. And these <laughs> motherfucking wrestlers would be stupid not to take that shit. How much? You, how, how bad this man's ruining your character? How much you think Cody's getting? Not five a year. Oh, he's two, got. To, he's got to be a two, two or three. Two, two or three. Two yeah. mil. Two mil. Who's the top earner right now? Is it I don't Roman? think Forbes has had. Well, Brock was making ten. Uh, well. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think he's getting ten. No. I say, I'll say two, two and a half. Definitely two. Definitely two, two a year. A's won't be doing the full schedule. It's definitely over two million dollars. I'm just saying, if Cody Rhodes it beats Roman, it won't be the same as 2011, but. You would have a kind of like the money in the bank situation with Punk and Cena. That crowd would freaking erupt if Cody beats him. Because he's they would. If they did it, where's where Cody from? Texas? No, Georgia. So they did that, did that match in Atlanta or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll be hot for him. I'm just saying, if I mean, we're still in the things, but. You got to bring him back. You have to instantly put him in the main event. Instantly. Yeah. That'll be that'll be one of your biggest star your biggest male stars on the roster period. Mm-hmm. Cody Rhodes comes back. And Cody Rhodes ain't coming back with no creative control, bro. I just don't, I don't I don't th- see it. I don't see it. Well, Jacob, since we- not Hulk Hogan co- Oh, but definitely some creative control. That will be a podcast <laughs> later in the future, guys. We are actually that is something because you've never heard us actually talk about Hulk Hogan's WCW contract, the greatest contract in wrestling history. They talk about kind of um Peacock's WWE evil with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. That man sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so J- icon, but he sucks. <laughs> so Jacob, you're on the Rock thing. Um which would be WrestleMania Hollywood. Roman's at five something. That would almost be like 800 days as champion. If we get to would it be double CM Punk's reign? It, it could be close. It it's kind getting of close. It's getting close. Cause I, I can see him like getting it to where it's like double his 434. And I'd be like, all right, well, we'll move on to someone else. Well, two but years I, will I, be I'm this still- SummerSlam. Huh? Yeah. It'd be two years this SummerSlam. So that's. That's like seven. That's like seven hundred days. And then you go from August to next April. Oh, dude, that's double. I think, yeah, just oh yeah. Math real I'm I'm still sticking with the Rock thing. It's the only storyline that I think makes sense. Two years that is seven hundred thirty days. Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, but we did, are we going to act like we didn't expect this to happen? Now, two years. I'm like no. I, thought- I mean, even with no, honestly, like even with the shield, I mean, he was still being pushed down our throats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah, this this isn't a shock. I don't like it, but it's not a shock. Oh, um, I'm not. I mean, honestly, it should have been Cesaro. Should have been the guy that put him over. I was yes. pushing that. Yes, hard. yes, you were. I was pushing that real hard, but that didn't happen. Um, and like current roster guys, I mean, I I don't know. I don't know who you have come over and possibly be and even if you open up the forbidden door vince isn't gonna let anyone beat roman no one's beating roman no one's beating charlotte i don't know know. uh so jacob too just like like justin said like two years would be that 700 something days you get to wrestlemania third hollywood that's going to be like 800 we already said he wouldn't lose at a big pay-per-view so then you're looking at possible because he's going to beat the rock like the Rock's gonna do the job for him. Oh, I don't think so. I think Rock goes over. Oh fuck no. <laughs> oh fuck yes. Why? It's either the Rock goes over or it's the next or it's the next pay per view. Roman loses. Why would Rock need that? Why would the Rock need that rope? Yeah. Because it's the Rock. But he's not gonna he be is. staying like he did in 2013. He actually stayed. Yeah. He's got movies he'll stay, to do. He'll okay. stay till SummerSlam. Mm, man, I don't, he might. It'll be part time. What do you? I, mean, I, I, I don't see it happen. The Rock is literally like one of the leading actors in Hollywood. Highest like, paid actor in Hollywood. Highest paid. Yeah, right like, now. yeah. yeah that nigga He's getting booked. Get that Vince money. 
That nigga book. That nigga get. That nigga make a movie. My own need Mr. McMahon's money. <laughs> Mr. McMahon. <laughs> I haven't heard him get called by his last. I, I just want to say this though. Like if Rock doesn't do it, like Jacob says he does, if Rock doesn't do it, you're looking at Roman close to a thousand days at that point. Yeah. That, Eight. Eight seventy. You can still is- see them push Finn. I know he got screwed over on the last one with the stupid rope thing, but he didn't lose clean. He lost because of that bullshit. So they could still finagle that one in there and be a dumb storyline, but they could do it and they would still go over and it would still be crowd would cheer. WWE forgets their own storylines. They rely on people like us. Well, they, yeah. I'm trying to think WWE is semi-competent here in this fantasy booking of mine. All right. They, they haven't been competent since Triple H left. Well, 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 no, they ain't coming back. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. There, they haven't been competent since he's had his his heart his heart scare. I, I'm just really trying to think, like, because he's gonna beat Brock. Everyone's gonna be pissed, but we all get it. What? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Because everyone, he's gonna come. He's like, I. Because this is what I think, Jacob. For your thing to work. And if WWE has been following your pattern, because Justin has said it, night two is truly ass. Besides, like, a couple, two matches to me. The AJ, AJ and Edge, and then the men's tag team with Randy mm-hmm. and then. The rest of the card yeah. is low-key ass. Yes, it is. I might go with Patriots. Uh, Pat McAfee, I'm, a, I'm, I'm excited for. I don't like Austin Theory, so. <laughs> Fair enough. But Ditto, I turn the TV off every time I see that man. I, I don't like him. <laughs> Jacob, for your thing to work, each big pay-per-view, a legend has confronted Roman Reigns. When he beat Edge at the end of Money in the Bank, Cena showed up. When he beat Cena at the end of SummerSlam, Lesnar showed up. If he beats Lesnar, the end of this, Rock shows up, you're right, it's going to happen. If they're following that pattern, because that's the only way you save Night 2, because Night 2 is going to be ass. I mean, you, you could see some shit like, what was it? The Rock did it with Cena. Like, I'll see you next year. Yeah, they know, could wrestle. do that. Yeah. yeah, I could see some shit like that. I mean, it'd be some hokey ass booking, but yeah, I could definitely see it. Cena did Cena did drop the title, though. He was not champ at that WrestleMania. He dropped that shit. Yep. But Roman won't. They got destroyed by <laughs> Brock. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I, I, there, I don't think there's a guy on here right now that we could definitively say is going to be the one to end it. Nope. The only good I could possibly see out of this is if Roman keeps both titles and they somehow bring like Big Goldie back. That'd be cool. I saw someone say a rumor today. If Cody beats Seth, comes on Raw, that's what Vince is going to hand him. Big Goldie? Mm-hmm. And they'll have a champion be- there since Roman ain't doing two shows. He can barely do his own show. <laughs> he shows up there. He doesn't even wrestle. You're about to have your champ show up to both shows and not wrestle. Justin was talking about old school. Uh, the champ used to wrestle every week. Yeah. And at the house shows. Yeah. We can't even get that anymore. So you're saying that Roman Reigns will have both of those damn belts, WWE World Universal Champion on SmackDown, and then we get in the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw? That's what someone said, because they're like, Roman ain't going to be showing up to both shows. Hell no. Then what is the no, point of this match? <laughs> well, they do this every couple of years. Unified, then split. I know. It's, uh, I don't I mean, it's going back to pre. It's going to go back to pre-draft days. Yeah, they find all those damn people. I mean, they might as well combine the rosters again. There's no point. I mean, it's it's going to be the the raw super show. Like you remember those days, like in 2013. Mm -hmm. That was dumb. We we don't need to do super. We just need to get rid of the brand split. That was trash. That That was trash. But I'm hoping Rock shows up at the end, and then I mean, he's gonna. This is wild, man. I just I kind of need to just Roman Reigns. The tribal chief, you know, the whole acknowledged shit, but he's just been winning. The only time I think he'd stand a chance of losing if the Usos lose, because I'm like, hmm, maybe they're doing something. But the, the Usos could, they could do a storyline where, I mean, this is how I think this whole thing is going to go down with The Rock is it's going to be, you think you're the head of the table, bitch. Do you know who the hell I am? You know, and he'll is, 
it could end up being where the Rock gets the Usos on his side, Paul Heyman's still on Roman's side, whatever, work it out, Rock wins. And then you can see where Roman could take time off for a while. Because if he's been doing it for two years, even part-time, full-time champ, still takes time <laughs> off. Guys, I want to put this in perspective. When Roman beat Bray Wyatt for the title, Bray Wyatt held that title for a week. It was a good week, though. He held it was it. a hell of a good week. He held it for seven days. Roman Reigns has held it so long, they don't even have the number anymore. They just have 576 plus. That's crazy. Uh, on Wikipedia, where are you looking up on? On Wikipedia. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they don't even like counting no more. They don't. It says 567 plus. August 30th, 2020. That's wild. <laughs> that is oh, it's really about to be two years, huh? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. What a time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else got anything to add? Um, yeah, I, can, I got a question for you guys. Sure. I know this is Vince Logic, but it still makes me upset. Why is the United States title or the Intercontinental title not being defended at WrestleMania? Because he put him in, he put him in the uh, Andre of a Giant Memorial thing for WrestleMania SmackDown. Because <laughs> they didn't, they didn't build up a storyline for him. That's why. That's I why. was so excited to see fucking Finn and Ricochet, Ricochet like win singles titles at the mm-hmm. same time. Sure, they're gonna make guard titles, but I'm a big fan of the IC title. I'm a big fan of the US title. How the fuck do you not put the, and and night two is shit. Right, they could have had those championships on that second night. They could have replaced some of the celebrity matches. We don't need three celebrity matches at WrestleMania. Y'all think this is bad. Wait oh, I know. Next year. I know next, next year's, year's going to be worse. worse. I know this. <laughs> That's in Hollywood. Those motherfuckers don't even have to fly. <laughs> Fact. Yeah, I mean, but like Justin already, he knocked it on from his house. He knocked, it, he knocked it on the head. I mean, they have no storylines for him, which is why. All right. Demon Finn would have got night two good pop. You had him right when it's dark out. Well, even mm-hmm. though it's the like, oh, so it doesn't matter. But the they could have did uh, Finn versus Damian Priest again at WrestleMania, which I thought they were going to do when Damian dropped the title to him. Right. What about a banger? Right. <laughs> and Give them some time. Versus- the banger. Mm-hmm. Charlotte Flair's held the current title for 158 days plus. It's kind of small. Com- like when you think about Rome, it's like mm, whatever, but that's still a long ass time. So it's almost six months. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right, so here's another. Here's a question for you folks: Does Peacock make it through both Mania nights without massive screw ups? Jesus, I think so. <laughs> they haven't fucked up in a while. He's thinking about yeah, last for WrestleMania. That was yeah. bad. That was yeah. That so was bad. terrible last year. That was awful. Yeah. Like, no excuse for that. But w- been- I. Would hope they learn their lesson from last year. They've been man. doing shows for a whole year on that shit, man. Like they should be good now. They should. Summer be. Sl- no, he did the SummerSlam cl- crash too. I don't remember. I was. Just I remember there was some pay per view that, pay-per-view say, that yes. we were watching that it crashed for like five minutes. I can't remember which one it was. I feel like there was another one after that that fucked up too. Yeah, there was one we were watching and it was just he started messing up. We we're like, what the hell is going on? I think it was SummerSlam. Well, Peacock's ass. So. Yeah, I know that. Like, it's not Wait, was it this year's Rumble that we missed like part of the men's introduction? We did. It was the Rumble. Yeah. I remember now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, it fucked up. Like, I know it fucked up since then. It's wild. So then maybe yes, because I forgot the Rumble happened and it fucked up. So I'm gonna say no. They're not gonna make it to both nights. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forgive WWE for selling off that. The WWE Network. I can't even one, watch wrestling on Peacock one unless billion it's a, dollars. Unless it's yeah, a just um, wait till it's on Disney. It's not Tell me, boys. It's not. No, it's not, Jacob. I'm, it's I'm, fucking no, you're it's, out of your mind if you think it's not. It's not. It's not. They're they're part of with too many people to be. It's part of with too many people to go to Disney. What's Fox going to be like? Mm, like they're just going to be like, oh yeah, we're just going to let WWE get sold to Disney, and then what are they going to do? Fox and pays. Hey, a NASCAR? I don't know. Fox pays them more. That's why SmackDown's the A show. 
I mean, Fox is in Fox is in trouble. The NFC is trash now. So <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing they had to draw during football season is the Cowboys. So they they, they need to find something. That's so more than there, fucking they, enough, though. True. Because yeah. Cowboys and wrestling fans, they're all uh, they're all crazy for the people they love. True. Any other questions? Sure. Go ahead. Who's the host for the WrestleMania this year? Do they even have a host? Uh, they have people singing the national. Let me. I was over here looking at people. Not that. Like, actually, remember they had like New Day be the host. Yeah. And want, like, Stupid. <laughs> I'm over here looking at people's title reigns. I left WrestleMania 38's page. Oh, uh, sh- no, they don't have a host. They no, they don't have a host. They're just gonna be no, no host. We'll see some people come up though. So. Anything else? Um, NXT Stand and Deliver is also like in the afternoon. I don't know how many people are going to be watching that who aren't battle crazed wrestling fans, but that's before WrestleMania. Trash. <laughs> I mean, it's not even sold out. The fact NXT is not sold out is an absolute disgrace. How do you fuck up NXT that bad to where you can't sell out the WrestleMania show? Triple H almost died. That's why. Right. Yeah. I mean, dude. They really fucking screwed the pooch on that one. Let people go they shouldn't have let go. A la hey, Adam Cole. Hope, <laughs> hope AEW does a show during that weekend. So like so we can hear the new T uh, the new AEW women's champ, Thunder Rosa. Oh um, almost almost shed a tear when she won that title, man. It was amazing. I did too because <laughs> I'm because I'm fair and Brick Breaker was beating everybody's ass and it was starting to get annoying too. Yep. True. But oh, that was amazing. I'm just saying, man, like WrestleCon's this weekend, though. I know there's shit. I mean, WrestleMania weekend, like I said on the last podcast, it's not just for WWE. All wrestling promotions do shit when it's WrestleMania weekend. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Fucking Ring of Honor, man. That card's going to be fucking sweet. I mean, FTR versus the Briscoes. That should Woo! be a good one. Money. And then you got, uh, who else is fighting that weekend? Shit. You got uh, Will Ospreay versus John Moxley. Ooh. Shit. I do want everybody's bringing out their shit this weekend. It's gonna be awesome. I do want to leave one question for you guys before we close because it just came to my mind with these okay. two people. What happens first? Roman loses. Roman loses this year, or Charlotte breaks Flair's record this year? Charlotte breaks Flair's record, not even close. Charlotte breaks player's record. Um, I don't think Roman's losing that title before um, she breaks that record. I don't think she's going to break it this year. Okay. So. okay. I was just asking that because Char- there's women who actually beat her coming back. Bailey, Asuka. And the woman they wanted to push to be the top person, Lacey Evans. Yep. They're all going to show back up and Bobby on Raw after WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, and she's got the power of Ric Flair's kid now, so anything's possible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they forgot that storyline, but let's go into I did. Let's go into closings. Go ahead, Justin. It was fun. Um, WrestleMania is always fun, even though the Sunday night card leaves some to be desired, but it's going to be a fun weekend. Can't wait to review it next week. Jacob? I'm just praying I don't have to work. This is the first time in years I might have to fucking work on WrestleMania, which is a terrible, terrible thought. So just just pray, pray my emergency request weekend fucking works out for me. The real question is, are you going to take the time to actually watch WrestleMania if you do have to work? Because if I was in your situation, I probably wouldn't even go and watch it. Um, I'll definitely throw it on Peacock. Like, I'll definitely have my phone running the whole time. All right, so you're gonna watch it live. So you're- I'm, I'm gonna do my best to. I mean, I don't think anyone from work listens to this shit. So, <laughs> yeah, and now they're gonna be on the cameras watching me. Like, is that Mr. Mason on his phone again? Like, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Byron. Um, as always, I love doing these big pay per views slash special rainia WrestleMania episodes. They're always fun. You know, here just talking shit with you guys. Uh, I am. Looking forward to night one more than I'm looking forward to night two. Definitely should have probably put more into night two, but you know, 
maybe they'll learn their neck less than next year when WrestleMania is like three nights, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Is that real? No, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But I can't do it. I don't think I can commit to three nights either. Fuck that. <laughs> I um, 30 a week, shit as it is. Fuck. It really is, because then you go from like WrestleMania is the Raw after WrestleMania, and then back in the old, like the NXT, all that jazz, but NXT is boo, so. It's a lot <laughs> of shit you gotta watch. It really is, especially if you're reviewing the shit. Um, right. Biggest thing is thank you everyone for listening. As always, we love doing these ones. Thank the guys for being on. Can't wait to do the review. Even when Russell, I wish we were able to like record these and show you guys like when WrestleMania is asked, though, our group messages are so much more entertaining <laughs> because we are talking about how ass WrestleMania is right now or why so and so won. And I'm pretty sure wrestling fans around the world have their own group messages, but ours is something else during these big pay per views. It's, it's very entertaining. Um, shout out to Triple H, first interview since this heart um, issue. Glad he's doing well. I'm glad he's healthy with the kids. Sad he really didn't get the last, last match he deserved, but it's also more important. And to be honest, the biggest thing, WrestleMania this weekend, quick note, the GOAT, Undertaker going into the Hall of Fame. Should be going Mm -hmm. in by himself, but it is what it is. Um, Nah, fuck that fake news Hall of Fame. I I know it's fake, but come on, it's Taker. I I know, but Jesus. Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> he could you could have inducted that man fucking five years ago for god's sake why do we have to even wait shit edge is still wrestling he's a fucking hall of famer complete nonsense well they didn't know he was coming back no 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 i shit y'all thought i hate goldberg i hate the wwe hall of fame more than anything oh it's trash. Uh, it's trash. sham hall of fame worse than basketball hall of fame they let any fucking any, there's no reason why fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin should be in the same fucking Hall of Fame as Donald Trump. There's no reason why! (laughs) He was the celebrity pick at that. Uh, I don't care! There's no reason why The Undertaker should be in the same Hall of Fame as Kid Rock! What are we doing? (laughs) I agree. I I said it, I think last year, the video game Hall of Fame is harder to get in than real life. They have totally just made a fucking mockery of this shit for years now. I'm so sick of it. Like, props to Undertaker for, like, getting the recognition, but, like, we all know that nigga Hall of Fame, bro. Like, we don't need WWE's sham Hall of Fame to give that man his acknowledgement. Like, get the fuck on with that shit. As someone said, um, a listener to the show, Patrick's like, all you gotta do is be in Vince's good graces, and you'll get in eventually. (laughs) And with that being said, thank you, everyone, for listening to the L7C podcast. WrestleMania is this Saturday. April 2nd, and then this Sunday, April 3rd. Uh, Listen to this. If you're making money on those picks, you guys take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.